This year with the building bridges, I've noticed some significant changes uh, with the kids. The kids seem so much more prepared with their topics and what they're teaching to the younger kids. It'll help you get a 4.0 if you say, I'm gonna get a 4.0 instead of saying, oh, I can't do that, or I can't do this. Like, it'll improve your grades either way, you know, if you say you can. How many days does, uh, does it take for something to come out of it? 21. 21? Right. So if you do something every single day, for it to become a habit, it has to take uh, it has to be 21 consecutive days. Well, I've been here at Schaefer for five years, and the Building Bridges program has been here since I've started. And I've always um, enjoyed the program and believed in the program because I feel that it's important that our students hear from former Schaefer students and high school students in the same. Um, I've seen a great change, especially in the past year, over um, topics and that the High school students that are presenting are better prepared. True uh, or false, drinking strong coffee, exercising, or taking a cold shower will help you sober up. Sleep. Sober. So, so, yeah, sober up is if you are intoxicated or you're drunk, it's going to help you wake up and get over that. False. False. Yep. Well, you should be doing these all the time, but if you don't, try to do like a random act of kindness. I mean, like, an example could be like, just like when you're going to a restaurant, like holding the door for someone, or maybe like saying hi to someone who like you normally wouldn't say hi to, or someone like looks like they're, they're upset. I just really want to share what I feel is a great success is the Building Bridges program, and I've seen the kids really, really grow. Um, sometimes, you know, they come in and their attitude's a little, little uh, silly, um, but as they start to warm up, the conversation becomes more real. And uh, we really start to feel, uh, hear what they're uh, thinking and what they're feeling. So if, let's say for example, right, if you were being ganged on and everyone was like saying mean things about you and no one stuck up for you, how would you feel? Who persisted and they kept going and they kept trying. And some of the names you'd be like, what? No way. But the reality of it is, anyone who's successful has failed. So when you're trying for something and you fail, what you need to know is that just takes you one step closer to success, right? Yes. Awesome. Um, last week, uh, the high school kids came down and worked with our seventh graders about um, goals and how to um, prepare for them, especially since uh, they're going into high school two years from now. Um, I found it very uh, empowering. The kids seemed to enjoy it. They like to write down um, things that they were going to accomplish within the next year, the next five years, and for the rest of their life. We want to end on good decision making. So we're going to tell them about the different drugs, okay? But remember, the underlying theme here is you want to make good decisions, and and good decisions lead to good habits. All right. Things that we're grateful for and grateful to have. So um, I'm very grateful to have like a loving family that keeps me um, in check and is very supportive to me. So uh, does anyone have something they're grateful for? Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm an eighth grader here at Bravo K. Schaefer. And one of my favorite parts of Building Bridges is that they have a quote each time and they, the high schoolers do a really good job of explaining it and relating it to our lives now. Now you guys are coming to ninth grade, right? So do you want to be the pessimist or the optimist? The optimist. Optimist, optimist, right? optimist prime, baby. Because optimist. Look, obviously when you guys come in, it's going to be a new change for you, so it's going to be harder, it's going to be different, right? And obviously we're going to go through failures, but can those failures stop us from actually succeeding? No. Nope. No, we need to overcome those failures and we have to move on failure so that way we can improve, right? So the mistakes that you guys made in 7th and 8th grade, right? You guys can improve upon them and make sure that in ninth grade when you guys come into high school, you guys are well prepared for your future. <laughs> you got to before you That it's no one's choice, it's yours. A bully, bully other people because they were once bullied. Hi, I'm Aiden Mana. What I really like about Building Bridges is talking about the quotes and inspirational things. It's fun to think about things that you don't really think about on a daily basis. Okay, so have you or someone you know been bullied to your past because of being not being popular? Hi, my name is Isaac, and what I like Building Bridges is the goal setting. Throughout my life, I never really thought of it, and now that I'm thinking about it, I really like setting my goals. Get into the army. The army? Mm. Anybody else? And grateful that I am living the American dream as I, heard, I applied myself and got a job to make good money. Very good. Yeah. I, Thomas, I'm so happy and grateful that I have brought up my grades. 
because I worked hard to achieve it. Very good. My name is Alexandria Miracle, and my favorite part was knowing that you can succeed after you fail. The reason we talk about all these successful failures, there are people who have failed thousands of times and have come from situations much worse than we're in. And they've gone on to become some of the most powerful and wealthy people in the world. Hey, my name is Emily, and my favorite part of Bill Bridges was getting to learn what high school is going to be like. It was really cool because I got to learn a lot of stuff that I didn't know was gonna that would be available at the school. He never sees positivity. He always sees always sees something good. All right, all right. And what was the example we used about high school? A test. And that was a PSSA testing PSSA for a year. Yeah. But so happy and grateful for my family, and because family is knows what's best. My name is Aiden. I enjoy talking to the high schoolers about what high school was like and talking about the successful people in life who failed and eventually succeeded in life. This guy was fired from dozens of jobs before founding a fried chicken empire. And you got it. As a child, Blank had some difficulty communicating and learning in a traditional manner. That's it. It's our second year here at Building Bridges and we've seen a great change and difference throughout the program. Kids are more interested in the relatable topics and it's just overall a better experience for them. The kids found the topics more relatable and they were more willing to answer this year more than ever. And it was like very humbling because they came up and said thank you for everything that we've done and it made us seem like better teachers and it helped us to improve on our lessons each week.